friend. Y'all late. He said you'd call me when uh, Tyreka went into labor. It got hectic. What can I say? <laughs> what kind of contrary child fixes to get himself born on Thanksgiving Day? Uh, <laughs> how's Tyreek? Good. She did real good. How's the baby? Seven pounds, eight ounces. Deontay Tyree McCullough came out crying like he know the whole damn story already. Ah, congratulations, Dad. You got money for a soda? Which cab you call? Royal, they said five minutes. Well, he seems to be taking it in stride. Should have seen him a couple of hours ago. Well, maybe that'll get him to step up, be a father to his son. It might happen. What you think? Well, I think he's watching you. Me? Yeah, he's watching you, Fran, with one eye, waiting to see if you'll stumble or not. And what that got to do with him? He need to do what he need to do regardless. So you still taking classes at the community college? English and algebra. Got to pass them before I could take anything else. How you doing with it? English is fine. But I don't truck with no algebra. <laughs> All that X and Y nonsense. What the hell you need this shit for? And you were working over at Hunt Valley at the cosmetics factory. Oof! Two and a half hours on the bus. To stand there and pack boxes all day long for minimum wage? Uh -uh. No, I could do better than that. Come on, kid. I'll catch you down the way. OK, Grandma. Lord! <laughs> hey, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, same to you, DeAndre. sound right. Uncle Derard. <laughs> Look here. How the girl doing? Oh, my God. That yeah. little girl had to work. Mm. And the baby? He already acting out, just like Andre. Yes, Lord. <laughs> hey, so, the Andre, uh, you was right there when your son was born? Yeah, boy. I carried it. No, oh, don't you go telling lies. You was a scared little boy in that room. Couldn't do nothing but stand there with his mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. Rico was all screaming. I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. But I tell you, after seeing that, I have much, much respect for women. <laughs> well, then have a seat, Daddy. You and Grandma here. <laughs> Y'all missed out on the first go round, but you all in time for second. And it all came out great, Fran. I mean, every last dish. Damn, we look good. I mean, even Stevie dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> the boy family got his problems, but we clean up real well. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much. Mom, if I'm an uncle, does that mean Deontay is my cousin? Mm. Your nephew. You still have to do what I'm told to do, right? Boy, don't nobody in this family know how to do what they told, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, someone do a second grace. OK. Come on, y'all. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us this meal together as a family and for getting us to this day in spite of so many things. Amen. 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 Let's eat, y'all. Okay. Right yeah. 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 mm. Marvin ain't around. He probably still up at his mother's. She cooking for the holidays, too. Uh-huh. Ma. What? I'm just saying. We doing good with this house and all. Marvin, he just bringing the family down. You don't know that, Dre. I don't want to go back to Fayette Street, Mom. Neither do I. I mean, tonight, yo, we was like a family. Nobody was acting stupid. It was great. I know. <laughs> you should do it again for Christmas. <laughs> I'm saying it ain't no coat. Stop your crying. Doesn't matter. Baby powder, huh? I'm selling the same shit that they sell at the grocery store. Still a crime bump. That ain't right. You don't need help? 
Got this waiting on the wagon. Coke or dope? Baby powder. Am I remembering right? You got shot this summer behind selling burns. Yo, Bob Brown. Ain't seen you around much. You got promoted. I'm downtown now. You a detective? Bob Brown a knocker. Damn. You miss me already, do you? Shit. Hey, I was the devil you knew. These young police coming on nowadays ain't gonna be the same kind of love out here. Yeah, I'm just damn man. <laughs> Come out of the hospital. Man, whole damn world turned upside down. Man, I'm telling you, it's not no dope, man. It's John and John. I'm selling the same. What's up, man? Hey, man, I see you got Brian, huh? Yeah, I'm selling burn bags. You see Ronnie boys? Turn around. All right. Shit, man. Shit, man. Listen to this motherfucker talk. Shut the fuck up already and get in there. I'm sick of your shit. Sit your ass down and shut the fuck up. We take that to the bank, pig. Fucker. But I just kept playing with that thing. I mean, a long time after getting high was fun, you know, because I was scared. You know, I was scared of all the pain that was waiting for me in the straight life. See, I ain't know nothing about that kind of pain. I ain't know nothing about that. See, the pain of addiction? <laughs> that was, I was scared of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was scared of that. Because when I was out there, my thinking was telling me, yeah, this is pain. This is pain. But it's pain I understand. <laughs> it's the pain I knew. You see, and that's what we got to understand in these rooms. Stop taking drugs. That's the easy part, y'all. That's a piece of cake. The hard part comes after that. When we got to go back and deal with the same life that we were running from in the first place. That's the deal. Yeah, yeah. Thank y'all for letting me share. Thank you. Hi, my name is Barbara, and I'm an addict. Hey, Barbara. Donna just gave y'all the word, people. Y'all have done the easy part by getting clean. But for every 10 of you here, only one is gonna stay clean. Those are the odds. So don't even think about resting on no laws. Now then, is there anybody here with six months clean? Yeah. Hey, there you go. Hey, honey, you got six months. Why don't you go up and get your kitchen? Three months Why not? I got mine last week. Next time, maybe. And for the most important person here tonight, is anybody here with one day clean? Yeah. Hey, here we go. Thank you. Keep coming back, y'all. Bust from Poplar Grove was late, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you working today? Hell yeah. <laughs> you ain't on the schedule. You was on the schedule for yesterday, man. Nah, today. <laughs> you missed your shift yesterday. Nah, my day was Wednesday this week. That was last week. This week you were Tuesday and Thursday. We don't need you today. We needed you yesterday. So what you saying? Take the rest of the week off, DeAndre. I need the money. Yo, that's bullshit. Yo, yo take it easy, You got Andre. a problem. Evidently. Oh, what you need to do is go home and chill and think about things. Hey, yo, Andre, man, hold up, man. Man, fuck her. Nah, man, you can't say that, man. Ain't nobody told me they changed days, man. <laughs> you supposed to look at the schedule. Oh, so now it's my fault? Even if it ain't, man, look, just tell her that you messed up, you know what I'm saying? That's all. Man, fuck that. I ain't kissing her ass for no minimum wage. Look, man, see, I had the same thing that you got going on right now when I first started. You know what I mean? You gotta carry things different, man. This ain't no corner. What you saying? Look, I mean, out on the corner, you know what I'm saying? You ain't apologizing for shit. <laughs> Man, it wasn't easy for me neither, man. You know what I'm saying? Edmondson and Bryce, yo. Been there, done that. So what your boys think about you slinging burgers and fries? Yeah, all right.
I'll be back in a few. I'll see you later. Dad, y'all ain't leave nothing behind, did you? Hey, good money and brass. Hey, man, but this ain't from a cemetery, man. Cemetery? You coming back, right? Now look at me, I can barely walk. You think I'm gonna burn you and run like I'm some damn track star? Hey, what's up, Kurt? Hey, uh, you still looking for Ronnie? Yeah, where she at? She down there on Vine. She's selling for G money today. Thanks, Kurt. No, not even one time. Maybe once or twice, but I ain't get deep with that shit. I mean, my pops got killed behind that ready rock, man. They don't like anybody up behind this shit? Man, police saying that shit ain't even a murder, man. He up in Lincoln Park with his jacket pulled over his head and shit, beat to hell. I mean, man, what the fuck they think he beat himself to death? Yo, man, it's been quiet out there since them DC boys rolled out. What's up? It's because we fucked them up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right. Motherfuckers probably still in the hospital and shit. <laughs> Snatch pops! Fuck, Dion! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> the three wise men, huh? <laughs> Yo, ho, 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 motherfucker. What's up? I'm left with that. Yo, that come boo. Hey, yo, what's going on down at Wendy's, though, man? Ain't nothing. Now, look at this shit. Damn, boy, you gonna change that shirt, man? You wearing the same motherfucking shirt for three days now, boo. Y'all working out? Why you at? Who got the package? Me, Brooks, and Dion. G give me, give me 20. I'll help y'all, sell. Nigga, I ain't giving you shit. You done fucked up the last shit we done put you with. Give me 10. The fuck you? Well, you fucked up. Nah, I'm cool. Nah, you cool with that pipe, nigga. That's what you mean, right? Fucking dusty ass boo. Give me five, then. Get out of here, man. Hey, how long you been like that? Like a month, man. You ain't noticed? Damn. He tow up. Shit. Ooh, all that hair. Yep. Yeah. Just like Andre with his dread. Oh, Lord. I hope he ain't like Andre. <laughs> He said he wants to get a place together. I told him I wasn't thinking we can do that right away. That he got to get himself a good job and put some money together first. But he claimed he wants us to be a family and all. Rika, now I told you months back that if you were having this child, you were doing it because it's what you want. It is what I want. And Andre ain't going to stay with you just because of this baby. Because my son, <laughs> I know him. He going to play at being a father, and he going to be right back out there on them corners. Well, he say he tired of it. He say that, but he ain't doing nothing to stay away from it. He ain't going to school no more. He ain't getting no more hours at Wendy's. He's looking for another job. He's trying, Miss friend. He don't want to go back out there. Hey, 
See, now that worked out real good, didn't it? Yeah, but I feel like somebody gonna roll up on us any second. Man, ain't nobody gonna do shit. Let me tell you something, Ronnie. I done seen people get hurt behind this game. You know Brian Mathis got shot this past summer. Brian Mathis? Brian Mathis didn't do it like we doing. Okay, when you sell burns, you sell out, then you move your ass off the corner. You don't stand there waiting, or your ass will catch a bullet. Yeah, well, I was out there for a while, all right. They come back on me. But they didn't, did they? They didn't. Okay, and now we got $40 right here to share between the two of us. Now bring your ass on, Gary. Y'all hiring? No? Cool. you could do is keep the shit out my room. You got to get some help. Yeah, I, I will. No. You either get back down to BRC or you got to go, Marvin. I'm going to call. You call or you gather up your shit and go. I said I'd call. What you thinking about? Nothing. How can you sit there and not think about anything? I did it all the time in school. <laughs> you think he knows I'm his father? Hey, no other man in this room every night is there. I don't think your aunt likes me up here so much. She cool with it. Besides, this is my room and you Deontay's father, so I'm not trying to hear it. And I don't feel like a father. I mean, I can't pay for shit. I'm just another broke-ass nigga that can't do nothing for his child. You doing what you can. You looking for work, right? Ain't nobody gonna hire me. They take one look at me and they know what I'm about. DeAndre, you smart. You can do anything you put your mind to. Nah, I'm a corner boy. Except I ain't even that. My cousin Dinky been carrying me, let me stay in the background. But you know how that is. You ain't on the corner with your package, you lose most of what you make. People fucking up or ripping you off. I ain't been about shit for months. You gonna go back. Rika, I can't do anything for him without money in my pocket. I don't have what it takes to buy him shoes, clothes, or anything else. He got shoes. He got all those things behind my check money. Yeah, all brand shoes. I seen babies in them little Nikes. What a little baby know about Nikes? He don't know, he don't even care. What he do need is a father. And how you gonna give him that if you down on the corner getting yourself locked up or killed? You ain't talk all that shit last summer. Back then, whatever I made on the corner, I spent on you. The money's not important. You're just trying to find an excuse to go back down McHenry Street. DeAndre? I'll be back. They just slam. Du, 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 du. Let the boys be boys. Slam. Oh, here. Oh, and it gets worse. I'm not watered down, so I'm dying of thirst. <laughs> Coming through with a scam. Uh, a foolproof plan. Uh, uh, be boys make some noise. Uh, it's just, it's just slam. slam. Just slam. Oh. Over here. Ooh. We need some heavy lifters. Thank you, baby. Be careful when they go in. What's up, Miss Ellen? Well, we're making this garden, and we can't dig any further in the middle here until we get these large stones free. Oh, so you looking for a mine, huh? <laughs> she got you instead. <laughs> Fuck you, drink. Hey, boys. Sorry, right, Miss Ellen. Why are you making a garden here anyway? I mean, you right on the corner. They're going to be slinging drugs here 24-7. Well, when they see what we're doing here, maybe they'll move somewhere else, because this is going to be a memorial garden. Memorial for who? Mr. Powell, 
The gentleman who was killed in the robbery at the supermarket over on Baltimore Street last year? I remember that. Some um, stick-up kids rolled up on him. He ran inside and lit his ass up, man. Yeah, Melvin Powell. Oh, then you remember him, then? Yeah, he was my uncle. Oh, Tay, I didn't know that. Come on, you guys, roll up your sleeves. Help out. Come on. Yeah, come on, y'all. Yo, Tay, what about the other thing, man? Huh? That thing we was gonna do, man. I'll meet y'all down the way. Yeah, all right, man. Whatever. <clears throat> Sorry, Miss Elder, we gotta roll out. Yeah, whatever. Come on, Tay. This one is real heavy. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's the blue. Hey, think? Got them red tops, man. Nah, son, I ain't up no more. Going in a different direction. I'm glad to hear that, man. <laughs> you be careful. You too. Keep your head on. Chandra, how's your mother doing? She good. Yeah? How you doing? I'm cool. Selling out, man. We may have to vile up again while these red tops is ringing out, yo. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> oh, I thought you had that other thing with RC and Dinky. What you planning anyway? I mean, it's wintertime. Irises, tulips, and crocuses. See, you plant the bulbs in the winter, and the flowers come up in the spring. Yeah? What if they don't? They will, DeAndre. <sighs> anyway, the community association got the deed to the property. So if we don't stake our claim to it now, there'll be all kinds of garbage and old sofas and everything else around here in springtime. I need a job, Miss Ella. What happened to Wendy's? Didn't work out. I ain't get along with the manager. And whose fault was that? Hers. You have to be patient with life, DeAndre. You can't get everything you want when you want it. Come on, help me with these. Put this one over here. Looks good, huh? <laughs> Yo, Dre. What are you doing, baby? CMB. Oh, ha. Ah. Yeah, Mount Bay. Get, get your guns, guns out. out. Get, get your guns, guns out. out. Yo, get Tay. Guns get your guns, guns out. out. Yo, Yo Brooks. Brooks. Get your guns out. Yo, get your guns everybody, out. get your guns out. Get your guns out. Friend, baby, where am I going to go? I don't give a shit. I call. I call down BRC. No. Friend, I call for a bed, and they got me on the wait list. You know, I want that for myself. I've been through detox. I've been clean with you. I want to get back to clean. Ain't but a few weeks till Christmas. And you gonna put me on the street? Even after I call BRC for a bed, you know that ain't right. Let me stay the holidays. By then, I'll have that bed and be gone. I swear. You're 18? 
because I can't hire you to work these hours if you're not. I'm guessing. You didn't bring your ID. Let me talk to the other manager. Nick the dime bullshit. Outside. Yo, call him, man. Tell him who you is. This ain't him, man. No. Our kid's younger. Y'all got a working man there. That boy got a job. What are you doing around here anyway? Visiting my mother. Yeah? Where she live at? Hey, this is a designated drug-free zone. You lord or you go. The next time we roll past. You best not be round. Walk on or take a humble. Fuck a fight, gentlemen. I'm serious. Don't make no sense. You there. Come in. Ma'am? You want this? Oh, thank you, ma'am. Take it away from my house. Yeah, you gonna be stylish. Yeah. yeah man. Got that lemon yellow. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, all right. Real good one. <laughs> Just finish up what's on the mirror. I'll grab some of them sandwich bags and we'll divide up. Go. That jet. Lag it, officer. <laughs> Where the fuck my money at, man? You hear me? Come on, man.
seven eight fourteen. I need an Ambo and a Rowan Fayette. Ten four seven Alpha fourteen. Medics is my Rowan Fayette. Y'all see what happened? Hey, come here. Don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Come here. Why the fuck I sound single file? You ain't in line here. Yo told me, man, I just uh, move up in front, man, come on, save him. This motherfucker here don't get sir. Don't put me out the line, man. Who the fuck is you talking to? Hey, man, I'm in the line. Get your ass out the line, or none of these other motherfuckers are gonna get sir. Double star the bomb. You all remember where y'all caught this blast from? Motherfuckers. Oh, y'all some ugly ass dope fiend bitches. You might have had enough respect for me to at least put the mirror back where you found it. You just don't know. Ma, come on, Andre, now. I'm begging you, leave this shit alone. Baby, you don't want to know where it's going to take you. You high right now. Look at you, you all dusty. Ma, ma I just smoked some weed is all. So you snorting that shit now or smoking it? Nah, nah, see, I, I just smoked some weed and I shared a 40, you know what I'm saying? That's all it is. I'll catch you with any of it and I'll put your ass out on the street. I swear to God, I will. Hey, ain't nobody getting high. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Give it a tug. For your daughter, too, Ella. We kept it a surprise. Thank you. Thank you all. That's Thank nice. you very much. <laughs> Why are you running, boo? <laughs> Ella. She's over there. <laughs> DeAndre, why are you chasing my baby? <laughs> Did you do that? Now you know better than that. Tell him you're sorry. Sorry. <laughs> now go home and wash your face. That was hard for you? Out there, the memorial. I wasn't expecting to see Pooh's name, but I'm glad they did it. I'm, I am glad they remembered. Everyone remembers, Ella. One shot, back of the head. Yeah, check for rape, too. Someone call the enemy, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> 
You know, she was gone a year before I came down here and started volunteering. And a year after that, I was the one running the place. <laughs> and now it's been five years. And you know my youngest boy, Kitty? Sure. Well, he'll be graduating from Francis M. Woods. And he asks me all the time if we could just leave here. And I understand it. But I just can't. I can't leave. I feel like my baby's soul is out there, somewhere, trying to get back to me. She's out there. And if I leave my house on my street, how will she ever find me? West side dope ain't shit, man. I know, cause I'm from the east side. The best dope is the east side dope. You know what I'm saying? Well, I just got one thing. What the fuck are you still doing here? <laughs> hey, hey. Blue? <laughs> Blue, Blue. Gee, look at you. How you doing? <laughs> Rita here? Hey. Hey, Blue. It's been a while. Dead ass. Good ass. How you been? Better than I was. I hear that. <laughs> Where's Kurt at? Upstairs. Kurt, man, come on down. Come on down. Who are yelling? It's Blue. You do look good, don't Blue? You look real good. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know how that go. Uh -huh. You know, girl, you need to get some attention for yourself. Oh. You can see that. Definitely. I could use some antibiotics. You need a doctor, Rita. Hey, Blue. <laughs> hey, Kirk. How you been? Same old, same old. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um... <laughs> That's what I'm here about, you know? And I, I know it sounds strange coming from me because I started this craziness, but I feel like I got to be the one to, to put an end to it. I mean, I, I ain't judging nobody. You know that. And I'm not saying anything to hurt anyone. But, man, this, this got to stop. I mean, at least here, in this house. We are gonna be somewhere, Blue. Yeah, Scalio, but not here, man. Come on, man, please. This, this used to be my mother's house. Kurt. You look good, Blue. Real good. All right. If any of y'all need help, I'm there for you. You know that. Spoke with Daddy today. Hmm. Where do you see him? <laughs> Wells, under that same liquor store. I don't know why you bother talk with Daddy. I don't know. You don't want to always say I ain't never liked you, or your children neither. You don't want to use the beat up on so much, but you always the one going over to Baltimore Street, see if he's still around. Ain't got but one father. Yeah. Sometimes that's one father too many. <laughs> How's DeAndre doing? I swear, if I ain't know any better, I think the boy getting high. <laughs> and that man Marvin I met at the meetings, Marvin Parker, <laughs> girl, he back to the same old shit. Things starting to disappear around the house, my toaster. The Rod Sega Genesis games, I... So you want to do one? I'm going home. Pay 24-6. Yo, 
Yo, fuck that. This ain't Kmart. Five a piece, yo, no discount. I'm tired of negotiating with y'all motherfuckers. Hey. How you doing, Miss Davis? Need to step back. Step back to the carriage right now. Step back, please. Yeah. Oh, my man, boo. <laughs> Yo, who shot boo? Yeah, one of them Vincent Street niggas, I think. Oh, it wasn't motherfucker. It was one of them terrorist niggas, well, man. Which one? But I don't know, man. That's why I heard anyway. <laughs> And they lit Boo's ass up, yo. Yo, that nigga <laughs> looks scared. Man, fuck it. He done burned too many people chasing that coke. <laughs> no, most definitely, yo. Yo, what the fuck happened? Saying? Boo got popped. Man, Boo took him. Who did it? Probably a nigga with a gun. <laughs> funny motherfucker. Yo, man, what you doing, Some man? funny motherfucker, Come huh? on. Come on, dick. Oh. Let go, man. Yo, Boo gonna be all right? What the fuck is up with y'all, man? Man, chill, come on. Nah, cuz, fuck chill. Boo is CMB, man. They in the back of a damn Ambo. He gets pop drink, we supposed to go deep. Yo, man, Boo fucked up. He's still CMB, motherfucker. What? Yeah, fuck you too, nigga. All right, y'all. Bitch ass nigga. Y'all gonna take this like some bitches, ain't you? Ain't about shit no more. Man, where Brooks at? Y'all gonna be fucking up my count so bad, I gotta be thinking he getting high. Oh, DeAndre. So where we headed, Ronnie? Poplar Grove. You gonna sell bacon sold up in the Grove? You must be crazy. Look, it's all in the game, Gary. You gonna get me killed. Oh, you just trust me, all right? You're gonna see. People getting shot on Poplar Grove all the time, Ronnie, just for standing there. And you gonna have me up there burning people? Look, we just gonna do a couple, then we gonna roll out, Gary. Mr. Nakala, over here. You Andre's girl, right? Rika. Yeah. What you doing all the way over here? This is where Fred and Andre live at. Yeah. You seen Andre? I'm visiting with the baby, and he ain't been around. Is that the baby? Do I hold him? Yeah. Hey, hold on. Andre's mouth and his cheeks. And he... He's eyes too, I think. He had a lot of Andre in him. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, boy. Not that I want him to be too much like the Andre. I mean, no offense, but I was just hoping that he'd take after my side of the family and some things. You know, the Andre's a little rough, all right, you know. Was you looking for Miss Fran's house? No, we just drawing. But I'm glad you seen me so I could take a look at the little one right here. I'm staying over on Riggs with my aunt. Anytime you want to come past, you welcome. I mean, you is his grandfather and all. 
I'll be right back, okay? You know who I am? Do you? Yeah, you do. Oh, Grandpa. You know what I am. Do you? Look here, I got to roll now. I got to, I got to roll, huh? Mr. Gary, you take care. You too, darling. Check out a little one, you know? Okay. Beautiful. I'm a drug addict. That's what I am. Gary, stop talking bullshit. When you're growing up and you're thinking about what you might be, you never ever think to yourself that I'll be addicted to drugs. You never ever think that. Well, if we just gonna do this shit, then we're gonna slip away. you talking about? Where the food at? I heard him come in last night. He didn't come upstairs. Damn. I'll be damned. He even took the box of cereal. How much you think a nigga gonna get for selling a box of Cheerios? Did Mr. Martin take our food? Dorai, go get dressed. Where are we going? Get dressed, Dorai. Uh huh? Get your ass dressed right now! Ma, he's gotta go. Shut up, Andre. I'm just saying, he's bringing us down. He ain't the only one. I can't take this shit anymore. Ma. 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 Shut up, Andre. Look, you take Derrod up to Scoogee house. Tell Scoogee what happened, see Derrod get fed. Where you going at? Out. Come on, Ma, you've been doing so good. Come on. Oh, ship change over. They're gonna be rolling past soon, boy. Man, fuck him. We making money. Nah, fuck that. I'm gonna go get the stash.
Where the pink tops at? That young boy that had him early, where he at? He's gone. Where? It was four o'clock in the morning. He was gone. What you got? Spider bag and laptop. Let me get one and one. You were doing so good. Don't talk shit, Kurt. One on one. Come on with it. Go on home. God damn it, you gonna stay in there and act like you forgot how to sell drugs? Man. Go home. Please. Scare me, cuz. I thought you came up here to violent bag, man. Ain't nothing to vile. Nothing to vile, cuz I know we ain't gone through a half ounce already. Oh, she's stealing again, man. Motherfucker on the pipe and shit? Or Tate. He getting high for real. Shit is fucked up. Shit, fast right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, it should be ten. That's last two should make ten. Too. Ten. I'll be ten. Count it. I'm not sure.
Get down! Police get on the shit. ground! Get on the ground! Move! Get on the ground! Get down! You, come here! Get, get on the ground! Get your ass is now! Get on the ground! Let me see him! Get over here! Coke on the table, all oh, shit! 40 pieces at least. Sort of jump you right up out of juvenile. Might even get you over to Eager Street this time. That shit'll hold you. So that's where I am now. Looking to move into this group home over on Hanover Street. Just take it light. Because that's what my sponsor tells me I need to do. You see? Now, there are times when I want to make my own plans, do my own thing, but, like, that's what got me here in the first place. <laughs> All that nonsense. Always telling myself, you know, I can do what I wanted when I wanted it. Right? But now, I got to listen to somebody else. Man, you know, and this is hard. It's real hard. But you know what? Ain't no job harder than being a drug addict. <laughs> Everyone here knows that don't nobody work harder than a dope thing, right? You wake up in the morning, man, not a dime to your name. No friends, no family, nobody that got your back, right? But by the time you roll out of wherever you lay your head, you know where you're going to get $10, right? <laughs> you get it. <laughs> See? Yeah. <sighs> Ain't no job harder in America. That's why I got to keep reminding myself that compared to that, this way of living got to be called easy. Yeah. You see? Anyhow, I talk too long. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else have a burning desire to share? I, um, I just wanted to say that my name is Fran. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. And I am a drug addict. Welcome. Welcome. Keep, Keep coming back. back. A year is an arbitrary measure of lives lived. This story goes on. Decisions are made and unmade. Only the corner is fixed and certain. Despite occasional arrest, DeAndre McCullough continued to sell drugs at McHenry and Gilmore, and he continued to use both heroin and cocaine. Today, at the age of 22, DeAndre lives in Baltimore, struggling with the temptations of the corner. His cousin Dinky was shot to death in 1995, ambushed by a crew from the Lexington Terrace Projects. As for the other Crenshaw Mafia brothers, R.C. is free after serving most of a year on drug and assault charges. Tay also was recently released from jail after a shooting case was dismissed. And Boo, who survived his initial wounding, was shot and killed on McHenry Street a year later. Tyreka Freeman is now a part-time college student and full-time hospital employee. Her son, Deontay, attends the first grade. Tyreka and DeAndre have been apart since 1995. Rita Hale died from the infected abscesses on her arms. Scalio was badly beaten by dealers in a dispute over a light package. He died a year later, having never fully recovered from his injuries. Fat Kurt outlived them. He collapsed for the last time in early 1997 and was admitted to a West Baltimore nursing home with chronic liver disease. He died there, six short blocks from his corner. Veronica Boyce lives in West Baltimore. At the time of filming, she had 33 days clean. In 1996, Ella Thompson moved to a middle-class neighborhood. She did so reluctantly, only after her Fed Street home was burglarized. Yet she continued to work with the children of West Baltimore. Two years ago, Ella died of a heart attack. She was 47. George Blue Epps remains clean and is working for a drug treatment program at Fed and Monroe Streets. Bunchy Boyd detoxed in 1995 but died of lung cancer the following year. Denise Francine Boyd now lives in Baltimore County where her younger son Derod attends high school. Fran has been clean for more than four years and she is employed as a drug outreach worker. In March of 1996, in his parents' basement, 
Gary McCullough died of a heroin overdose. After the funeral, Gary's son DeAndre said these words. I know this sounds wrong, but I'm almost glad for it. I feel like he was never going to get out of it, you know? He was never going to be what he was. I think he was sad from knowing that. I feel like he's at peace now. Hey, hey, friend. Hey, friend, come here a minute. So you real friend boy, right? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. OK. You ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. All right. There's, uh, what, DeAndre, yeah. Tyreka. That's the real blue, right? Yeah, that's blue. How y'all doing? How you doing? You're the real blue. Yes, I am. Georgia. Yes, sir. How you, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Right. Tyreka? How you doing? How you doing, Tyreka? DeAndre. All right, OK. All right. Now, we are on this corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something, friend. Um, uh, like any story, what would be a happy ending for this one? Um, just to see, when, well, hope that um, this story can help some people mm -hmm. in a positive way. Um, hope that um, that the message will get out there as far as drug addicts are concerned, that we are human beings, and um, maybe get some people to open up more treatment centers and just help people to get off drugs. Mm -hmm. You've been clean now four years? Four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. No turning back? No turning back. Absolutely. No, after watching this, um, <laughs> wow. Um, after watching this and, and, and watching Candy portray my character, mm -hmm. wow. Um, she, she really made me have the opportunity to see just how I used to live. Mm -hmm. And um, just, just watching her has made me even stronger than what I was before the movie even started. So um, just looking at that, hope that there's no turning back. Okay. And you, Blue? Been clean six years. Six years? Yeah. No turning back? No turning back. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. Positively uh, without a what, shadow of a doubt. OK, how you going to do that? Huh? How you gonna, how you gonna do One that? day at a time. One day you at know, time. doing the necessary things that I have to do, always making sure that I don't forget where I came from, because if I do, I can wind right back up on Fred and Monroe doing the same negative things mm -hmm. and keep God in my life, because he brought me through. Mm -hmm. Now, Tyreek, uh, okay, you've been the quiet one of uh, this little bunch for a long time, you know? What's your thoughts on all this? My thoughts is I think this movie is a good thing. I hope that the young girls my age, at first I thought that you know, the, it would make me be thought of as, oh my goodness, she's dumb, why is she doing that? But now that I'm older mm -hmm. and I see a lot of young girls going through the same thing that I'm going through, I know it just wasn't me. And if I could, I wish I could help someone to know that, let young girls know that life is real and some things you just, just gotta wake up on. DeAndre, and a lot of this movie, of course, is, uh focused on you and what are some of the things you're going to do to be able to deal with your own struggle and so far as addiction and drugs and thug life and whatever, whatever. It's really not a whole lot to that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it becomes a time where the corner just get played out. Mm -hmm. It's like it's old now, you know what I mean? The things that I used to do when I do go back to the old neighborhood, they give me a headache now. You know what I mean? Like it's it's like everything has changed. The game is like it's so watered down now. It's ridiculous. You couldn't buy a friend after '88, so you can't really trust nobody. I'm standing in a halfway house by choice to put some structure in my life, to put some discipline in my life. You know what I mean? To learn how to be responsible, to grow up, mm -hmm. learn how to be a man, be a better father to my kids. You know what I mean? And, um, Sarika, my baby's mother, you know what I mean? For the situation that we was in, I got her pregnant when she was, uh, I think, 13 or 14. And through all of that, she still finished school, you know what I mean? She's continuing going to college. She just got promoted at a job. She has her own place, you know what I mean? And if it wasn't for her, I don't know where my son would be. 
with your son, Deontay, uh, what's some of the ways you're going to try to get him to avoid sometimes what could be the inevitable of the corner? Just by being as strong as I can be. I, if, if I'm not strong, I can't make him be strong. Just by teaching him what he see and letting him know what's wrong, what's right, and just by being upbeat my own self. I can't preach it to him if I'm not doing it my own self. Uh, looking at this picture, the, the inevitable question for me is um, uh, sort of remembrances of um, your father and your husband. And uh, I mean, what has it done to those memories of uh, Gary? It's hard, like, dealing with my father's situation because me and my father never had that father-son relationship that I see a lot of kids have with their father. You know what I mean? My father was there for me financially until his addiction caught up with him. And then after that, it was like just hitting and missing. Me and my father didn't have that relationship like when I needed to learn how to shave, like my first girlfriend. Um, when I got into fights, he was like there to discipline me and to give me money. He pacified me $100 bills. Mm -hmm. and let, me, let, let me ask a friend a question. Um, what do you want from him now? Um, what I really want from Andre is for uh, Andre to, to um, understand that, number one, he's not alone. Um, a lot of times Andre really thinks that nobody cares, um, nobody's in his corner. And sometimes I just get to the point where I just have to let go, not because I don't care, but because I know that I'm harming him more than helping him. Um, I would just like, I'm just waiting for that day to come that Andre and I can sit down and have that mother and son talk. Um, I love him so much. Andre is the love of my life. And, um, which is, which is another reason why I know I have to stay strong. Um, all I can do is, is be an example. Um, I know that I hurt Andre in a lot of ways, but I can't change the past. Um, I want him to know that I'm here for him and always will be. But until he come to that point where he want the same type of life that I want, I can't help him. But I want you to know that I love you and I'll always be here for you. On that note, I think we can uh, say good night to the corner, at least for the night. Thank you. And thank thank you. you. Thanks. I did. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Mark. Okay, sweet. All right, Dad. You get hug with Dad. All right, home. All right, George Jeff, right, the real you. blue. Yeah. All right, Tariq. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. That's and cut. Well, I went downtown just to ease my pain. Went downtown just to ease my pain. Well, I ended up by walking in the rain. Well, I took my pistol, a hundred dollar bill. Took my pistol and a hundred dollar bill. I had everything I need just to get me killed. Well, the devil live on Fayette Street, I swear. Well, the devil live on Fayette Street, I swear. 
Well, I seen him rocking in his rocking chair. Well, now mama told me, papa too. They both talk till their time blue, but I've got them old. Where's Bottle Blues again? Well, I won't be satisfied till they lock me up again. 